Hey, this is Eddie Ray with Destination Campground. For those who know me, you know I'm kind of always thinking about something crazy to do. Uh, so I've got something new. We harvest water, and there's lots of frogs in there. Anyway, so we harvest water. Water comes down into a spigot, and it goes into a hose. So here's what I've done. You know, it's 100 degrees out today, and most days in Tennessee, it's hot. So I've taken the idea from my camper water source. You know, we got a pump in our camper and I've applied it to this principle here. So what I have done is created a water source from my water tank that runs off battery power. The lawnmower today, a battery later with a trickle charger and maybe a charge controller, uh, solar panel. So let's take a look at this real quick light. All right, so here we are tucked away in our little hole in the earth. This is our HVAC unit. That's a couple of years old. This is our little cover and our water tank. So you can see that I have my gutter running off to the barrel. This here, this snake looking area is for winter because you know water freezes here in Tennessee. Uh, so what I did was I took this little pump and run our water from the tank to the pump, okay? And then the next place it goes is the hole, hose, this green hose. So Angie loves water and flowers. We got flowers everywhere, it's our crepe myrtle. Uh, but in the end, what happens is, I can spray water. And I can water all these giant sunflowers that she's planted. Uh, and so what it does is it flows at about two gallons a minute and uh, allows us 200 gallons of rainwater to use for our flowers. So this is it. Uh, the water pump, if you know how the camper works, it pump, 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 and it stops. So this one stops on 60 PSI pressure. Of course, when the water's off, there's pressure and it won't push anymore. Uh, it's got an on off switch. Let me take a look at that. We'll show you how it works. But right now, all I'm doing is running off the lawnmower battery. When we're not using it, there's a little switch. So the switch goes here, turns it on from the lawnmower, pumps the water through the hose into the yard again and so when it ever or if it ever rains here again in Tennessee this will fill back up and then we'll have to do it again now we're watering every day it's hot every day it's dry out here it hasn't rained in a little while and so alternative methods to watering is great what I'd really like to do hook this up to my toilet in the house everybody thought about why you're peeing and pooping in clean water everybody have a great day it's Eddie Gray with Destination Campground we'll see you later